recently they've added a new horse race mode, so here is everything you need to know about that. The Ulmen Grand Prix is a new type of horse race mode that rewards players with certificates, coins, and trophies. These items can be used to acquire training XP, gear for the newly added racehorse, along with materials used to upgrade your tier 9 and tier 10 horses. Players can participate in races anytime between 9am to 2am UTC as long as there aren't any node or conquest wars active. Each race will allow 5 to 10 players and anyone can join regardless of level as long as they have the new Gyogre Breaster resource which can be purchased for 30 million silver from Gula at the Stone Tail Horse Ranch or from Miles who can be found once you enter the racetrack. They also went on to add 5 resource specific stable slots allowing players to store a maximum of 5 resources. Racehorses handle differently than normal horses as for the controls you accelerate with W, turn left or right with A or D, quick stop by pressing S will slow you down, holding S will completely stop you though. Sweeping movement is a sprint skill which can be activated by pressing F. You can jump by pressing space, increase speed limit by pressing Q, drift by pressing S and A or D, drift acceleration is a short sprint burst that can be activated by pressing W while performing a drift. Continuous drift can be done by holding S and A or D, but keep in mind this will cause you to lose top speed, and if you lose too much top speed you won't be able to perform the drift acceleration skill. As for the resource mechanics, your horse will gradually build speed and has 6 speed levels. Once you've reached the top speed of each level, you will be prompted to press Q by the sound of a bell. Each horse has a unique gauge that fills with the power of the wind. You get this power by sprinting and drifting. Once the gauge fills up, you can then use the sweeping movement skill, which is the longest sprint you'll be able to perform in the race. You can participate by opening the escape menu, click the live tab and select Old Moon Grand Prix. A menu will appear, click the drop down bar and select the racetrack. Currently we only have one racetrack, but once you've selected it, click enter. Once you've entered the track, speak to Miles the stable keeper. Here you'll be able to buy, register and withdraw a racehorse. Additionally. While waiting for positions to fill, players will face a maximum of 15 minutes wait time. However, the race will commence one minute after the fifth player joins. In the event that five players don't join, the race will be cancelled and players will be removed from the track. Once the race begins, navigate until you've reached the finish line. If you go off track, you can use the escape function at the top left of the screen to get back on track. Once the first player crosses the finish line, the race will end 10 seconds after and players will receive their rewards shown on screen. Trophies will be awarded for the first, second, and third placement, and everyone will get a participant certificate and coins. The participant certificate can be exchanged for around 10k training XP each, while the coins can be exchanged for the items listed on screen. You can purchase items like resource gear, enhancement materials for the resource gear, new stone tail winds's meal, and fiery celerity draft. Keep in mind you can only exchange these certificates and coins with Gula at the Stone Tail Ranch. Racehorse gear can be enhanced with Gil Blackstones. These new Blackstones can be crafted with one Wind Dew and one Blackstone Armor via Simple Alchemy. Each enhancement level will require its level worth in Gale Blackstones. For example, a plus 1 will use 1 Gale Blackstone, while a plus 4 will use 4. In total, it will cost you 55 Blackstones for each gear piece. While enhancing this gear, you will have a 100% success chance at each level. However, you will lose 10 durability per enhancement. Several quests were also added and you can accept them from Miles. These quests can be completed by handing the coins over to the Blackspirit. The weekly quest, Rider of Honor, requires 40 coins and rewards you with a medical fetter. The daily quest, Become the Best, requires 20 coins and allows you to choose between various horse upgrade materials. For seasoned characters, you can access an additional weekly quest, a win parting victory, and you'll have to hand over 3 frost flowers to the black spirit while on your seasoned character. Anyways, let me know what you think about the Old Moon Grand Prix in the comment section below. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.